that's how you celebrate a coach's first career victory. Maurice Lindquist and the Bulls are both 1-0 following Buffalo's 69-7 victory over Wagner. I'm voice of the Bulls, Paul Peck, along with Bulls radio color analyst Scott Wilson. Season opener, a lot of anticipation, a bit of an inferior opponent. Scott, did the Bulls accomplish everything they wanted to? Well, yeah, they came out, and like you said, inferior opponent, and they smashed them right from the opening kickoff in this one. And it was just great to be back. I uh, feel great for Coach Mo getting his first win in a big, big way. Just having the fans back, a huge showing from the student section. Taylor Riggins was back. I think of all of those things, might be the biggest thing so far this season that we've seen. He's going to be a terror off the edge all year. You know, I know it's hard to get a read on these games sometimes, but what did you learn about what we saw from the Bulls in this game that may carry forward for the rest of the season? Well, Keon Williams is going to be a threat on the outside. We weren't really sure what we were going to see at wide receiver. They look very good at wide receiver. Kyle Van Trees, another solid performance when called upon, made big plays. I just think overall, for only having 100 days, the Bulls look really together as a unit, but also schematically on the field. They look really good. It's just a really impressive turnaround for this coaching staff to get these Bulls in a position to have a big win like this. So the Bulls take this 1-0 record off to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Cornhuskers on Saturday, September 11th. That's a program that's struggling a bit right now, Scott. It could be a very interesting afternoon in the heartland. It's going to be a fun game. I think the Bulls are going to have a really good look at one of the true blue bloods of college football. It's a 3.30 kickoff at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. The Bulls and the Nebraska Cornhuskers coming up on Saturday, September 11th. We'll be there. We can't wait to tell you the story of that game. The Bulls are 1-0 following a victory over the Wagner Seahawks.